Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It is season 40. This is war number one. This is the first war of the season and my first war in the Hellfire Club, Omega Sentinel. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, let's take a look at who they've banned. Woo! They have not banned Gallon. Now, something that I have um, noticed, though, the times that I've seen Gallon banned during the offseason, they've placed champions that were not Gallon food on the path. So just because he's not banned doesn't mean that we're going to be able to use him on path one. There's a couple of uh, fights that I could do with Gallon, but not necessarily great to do with Gallon. All right, let's see who they've put on my path. I'm still in path three. Okay, so these two don't look like they are going to be problematic. Uh, Super Scroll, I believe I can take with Gallon. And um, Hit Monkey, I can take with Gallon. All right, let me see who we got. We got Kingpin as the mini. We've got I-Bomb as the mini over there. Okay. And we also have Nimrod. Okay. And Surfer. And I'm looking in the uh, chat. And it looks like Surfer is being called. Somebody can take Surfer already. So I don't have to worry about that. So I will probably bring in uh, Claire as usual for this path here. Let's see, so Claire, Gallon, and I might, I don't know, Gallon might be able to take that Kingpin right there, we'll see. But I might bring in um, Diablo for I-Bomb. I don't know. You know, it's funny. Um, I could... Let me see. What do we got here? Masochism over time. I could bring in um, Archangel for this. And tear him up, you know? Archangel or um, Diablo. I'm just thinking, let me see, did he have Strike Counter, Fury? Yeah. Yeah, I could bring Diablo. Or um, Archangel. And take that guy out. So let me talk it over with them. And see what they're going to say, but... Gallon is definitely coming, and Claire is definitely coming. And then if I can bring Diablo or Archangel for that one right there, uh, that I-bomb, as long as they can take um, Kingpin, or I might end up taking Kingpin rather than uh, I-bomb. And if that's the case, I might bring uh, someone else, maybe Titania kind of uh, as backup. All right, uh, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so uh, after discussing it with my alliance mates, I decided to bring in Hulkling. Uh, I haven't used Hulkling a lot, but when I have, he's done a great job. And against that uh, Immortal Abomination, they were saying he would do very well. I laid out different options that I had and they were saying Hulkling would be a really good option. So we'll see. So the first fight is a familiar fight. I have fought uh, Super Skrull on this path before with uh, Gallon. And so I was not too worried about this one. Uh, he does get armor ups, which allows Gallon to. Um, gain his planetary mass even faster. I don't have to do medium like medium. I can just do 
uh, straight five hit combos and ramp up very, very quickly. So I expect these types of fights to go pretty quick, you know, under 30 minutes unless I do something wrong or mess up. All right, so as you can see here, once I saw he had an armor up, I started just doing uh, five hit combos. You can see his planetary mass, that purple all the way at the left is just ramped up. And I could have done this fight even faster. Um, you saw he dashed out of the way, but it doesn't help him. Not against Gallon. Um, I could have uh, done that even faster. I didn't need to ramp up that much planetary mass. So probably after one combo, maybe even just two, I could have uh, done it. But we got it done, and we got it done pretty quickly. Now, I do have a, a little bit of um, PS, uh, PTSD against Hitmonkey. When he first came out, he would wreck me. I would knock him down, and he would wreck me. Now, of course, you know to activate uh, Gallon's Harvest, which is what you want to do and get all that power, you know, damage, you got to knock him down with a heavy, right? Uh, or, you know, fire a special three. And I really didn't want to knock him down. So, as you can see, he doesn't get an armor up. And so I was like, okay, boom. Hope this is enough. And it was. Uh, I could have knocked him down and done a special one, but I really wanted to build up a little bit more to make sure that that special two would take him out. Did not want to deal with him after I knocked him down and all those buffs. All right, so I've fought Man-Thing on this node. And if I see another Man-Thing, I may bring Diablo. I actually mentioned Diablo as a possible uh, for this uh, fight. But I was told Hulkling would do a better job. So I said, all right, let's do it. My Hulkling is uh, rank four. So that works. Diablo was also rank four. Um, but uh, like I said, I have seen what Hulkling can do. But I'm not an expert with Hulkling. So one of the things I was trying to do here is hit into his block. Okay, look at the damage that I was able to do just hitting into his block. Then he went unblockable, but but look at this. He's doing pretty well. Look at his health. Both of them. And I'm now getting a little more confidence. I'm like, okay. And then I heard someone say I might want to stick to special ones. And I wasn't sure why. Uh, somebody can leave a comment below. And let me know why I might want to stick to special ones with Hulkling. I, I don't know. Um, but that's what you see me doing here. And then I was like, you know, his health isn't going down fast enough for me. <laughs> but look at the damage. And I didn't want to try to evade the uh, special one from I-Bomb. Just in case. But I'm feeling good. And then that happens. Do you see that? Just that. I don't know what happened there, but I'm just like, everything is going well, suddenly, bam, boom, 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 and I'm almost dead. And I was like, what? Now, I knew why I was almost dead when I got hit because of all the furies he builds up, but why did I get hit in the first place? You know, did I let up off the block and he just attacked right in that instant? I don't know. So anyway, we didn't die. And I really would have been salty if I had died there. This is the first war. And for me to die on that first mini, I would have remembered that all season long. All right. So anyway, we got through uh, that first mini. And look at this. By the time I went in, they had already cleared the board. I was the only one left. And I kept checking back. And the... Um, was it Node 24, Mini was still up. You know, we're in different time zones. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll try to keep checking. And then forgot for a little bit, came back, and they were already done. I said, okay, let's do this. You know, don't have to deal with the uh, global. So I like that. Uh, not a problem. As long as I'm not holding anybody up, I'm good. 
Okay, if they're able to do what they got to do, like here, you know, they were able to clear the entire board without me. I love that. And now I can just come in, but I wouldn't have had to worry about it anyway with uh, uh, Nimrod because he wasn't uh, one of the global defenders anyway. So I'm taking it easy here. All right. Uh, this should be a pretty straightforward fight. Uh, Claire, man, I would have loved to have gotten a, a rank four to five mystic because I probably would have taken Claire up. She would have most likely been my first rank five uh, if I had gotten Mystic. But is what it is. She's still doing her thing. Um, I like to let him fire off his special one. And right there, I, I kind of evaded uh, most of it, which is what I often do. But sometimes the computer don't let me do it. And I'll try it. And I won't move. And then I'll get hit. So it basically just cancels my evade, but I still am not blocking because of course I let up off the block and dashed and it cancels the dash and all that's left is you let up off the block and you get hit. Um, but I wasn't too worried, boom. I was gonna finish it with a special two, but of course power lock, but we got him down. Not a, not a bad fight, no, I wasn't too worried about it. And this fight here, same thing, uh, play it slow. Uh, I, I was very tempted to uh, go in with Gallon. I really was. But I said, no, this is my first war and I don't wanna play. I'm looking at the static uh, defense, all that good stuff. I don't want anything to happen, right? And Claire is my safe option. Uh, I, I, I was pretty sure he would not um, have any armor ups, but he hits really hard. But Claire can heal up if I really need her to. So at this point, I'm like, I'm just gonna block. And as you can see, she's chewing down his health. And he loves all this block damage. Look at the block damage, okay? And Look at this, he, he's happy. Happy with them special ones. Look at him. As soon as he gets his special one, he's like, yeah. Which is fine. <laughs> you know, I'm good with that. He like launched that one in my face. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm still, you know, like, okay. Now right here, I wanted to back off because I didn't want to deal with his special two. You see, I evaded the last part of that. Okay, and then fired off my special two, and we didn't kill him. I was hoping that that would finish him off so I wouldn't take recoil damage. Is what it is, now he's done. So first war of the season, first war with my new alliance, and I did not die. That was my main goal, not dying. I did not want to die. Um, it would have set, it, it would have been a bad look. It really would have been uh, a really bad look. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's come back in a moment and you guys will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. First war of the season and it is a win. And to me, that's a big one. Uh, I think we caught these guys because they seem to be a really good um, alliance. But I think we caught them in off-season mode or something like that. Uh, take a look at the score here. Um, we, we noticed that they weren't uh, playing, you know, up to, I'm sure, what is their usual standard. But it's the first war of the season. And in my previous alliances, we usually lost the first war of the season while people got back into the swing of things. So that's probably uh, the case here. Uh, but I also wanted to bring your attention to the fact that this is tier two. We're in tier two wars. And so this win is a lot of points, as you can see. Even losing at tier two gives you a lot of points. All right, but anyway, that is gonna do it for the video. Thank you for watching. 
Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.